Hey everybody, we're here at the Goodwill Bins in Omaha, Nebraska. Yes, we are Happy Hour Treasures. I'm Steve. I'm Donna. And we are from Lincoln, Nebraska. We made a trip to Omaha and last video you saw us do a little bit of thrifting. It was kind of a dud, but now we're gonna try the <laughs> we're gonna try the Goodwill bins. We haven't been here for a while. If you've never been to the bins, it's an adventure. It's an adventure. Um, we've never filmed here before, so this will be a first for us. Uh, but I don't know. Let's uh, see what we can find in the Goodwill bins, Omaha, Nebraska. Here we go. Now, when we're digging in the bins here, I'm looking for things for uh, the booth. I'm looking for things to sell on eBay, um, on dollar auction, all of that stuff. So, oh, little cute toys. Sometimes you can put them together. What did you find? I don't know if I found anything yet. What is it? Hockey pants. Hockey pants. I don't know if... Ugh. If you can actually see what I'm looking at. American Girl doll. Is it American Girl doll? Put my glasses on. Our generation. Now, a lot of things have been done too, and so I like to dig to the very bottom to see if there's anything that people miss. Doors are great cooking. Fifty cents. Because cookbooks can sell on First Lutheran Church, August 2000. They can sell well, and this one's in very good shape. So we'll try cookbooks. Oh, here's Luke. Here's a fable. Looks like Fable. Very poor condition. Somebody loved you a lot. Yes, they did. Got a hole. See? Nike? And here's a... I think this is a... Golf club cover. Have him look at that. construction paper. So 
sure. Skip hop. This is a diaper bag, I believe. Skip hop. It's kind of dirty. <laughs> Titleist. Gals. This goes with that, like some kind of padding. Steve, is this a golf club? Okay. So he said yes on the golf club cover. One once more. You know, I should probably look, see if these are worth anything. Since there's several of them. a case of these 12, 12 of them, $79.99, free shipping. That would weigh a little bit, I'm not going to mess with it, I'll try to collect a bunch of this Rick song, that's in good condition, little head cover. Another PXG head cover. That's awesome. Donna found a PXG head cover. It's cracked here. I think that's okay. Donna found this one. That's awesome. That's great. That's good brand right there. And they don't and they don't weigh anything either. So they're little to nothing. Where was I? I think the music's probably too much. We're gonna have to. Yeah. Do you want some road range? Wait, wait, yeah. Are they breaking though? Are they old? No, they're good. Well, here is a brand new mob. I looked, I already looked those up. There's like five or six of them. A dozen sold for like $80 free shipping. So I think if you get a bunch of them, you're gonna weigh, I don't know. If you wanna start collecting them, see how many you can find. But I had a guy come by and he took a couple of them, so I don't know. this. I bet she'll find it and she'll put it in her cart. I better just grab it. Okay, right here I did find this really cool leather USC Trojans leather bag. It did unfortunately have someone's name embroidered underneath the logo, so I did leave it behind.
So if you've never been to the bins before, what they just announced is there are certain aisles they close. So everybody leaves that area and then they take out the old bins and then they roll out new bins. And then once they roll them out, this is where it gets interesting because people line up and wait for them to say, okay, go. And then they all rush to these bins really fast. And that's where it really is kind of crazy. You still have a scale over here? So what I'm doing here, I found a whole case of those mop heads. And so I took it to the front to weigh it and see how much it would cost. And it's just too heavy. It would probably cost about $35 by weight. And then it was also free shipping. And so it just wasn't worth it. It's big, it's heavy, just not worth the uh, time and effort it looks like. Plus the sell through rate wasn't very good. So we put them back. Yeah, you know, case sells for about twenty bucks plus shipping. Plus you know, shipping. Okay, okay, uh, sell through rate. Is the other box full or not? I got, I got two. Oh, you got the one over there. Is it full? Put this in. You miss one? That should be ten. Seven, eight, nine. Huh? Seven, eight, nine. Nice thing. It was a short one, yes. So for this video, we're going to sit and do a voiceover. not wiggly. Well, that's a good find. So at this point, I noticed people were starting to stand in the line as they were bringing in the new bins out. And so I thought, well, I'm here, so I might as well get in line with them. So I go, went and I stood by these guys, behind these guys. And we were there for four or five minutes before they actually released us. And it was kind of annoying. These guys were obviously the guys, they probably go most days of the week and they just sit there. And when the new bins come out, they just take off and they run and try to get everything. It's kind of crazy, but I felt bad for the guy, one of the guys bringing the carts out because they started like telling him what to do and telling him which carts to put where because they wanted all the ones they wanted in one spot all together to make it easier for them. I was pretty happy that he went ahead and ignored what they said and put them where he was supposed to anyway. But it was just like, that's got to be frustrating, just trying to do your job and they're over here just uh, kind of harassing you or whatever. But it was all fine and dandy. I got in line and then when they released us, uh, you know, everybody just took off running. But doesn't mean they didn't miss something. Uh, hey. Aaron. Right here. No, that's close. No, right here. Aaron, right here. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the guy entering the frame now to the left, he actually pushed a bin out of the way and then kind of bumped into me wedging himself in front of me to my left because apparently he thought he could get a better position and try to get some better used shoes by doing that. I don't know, whatever. I'm not about to fight anybody over some used tennis shoes. <laughs> there they go. My goodness. We'll stay over here where there's no traffic. Look for stuff maybe somebody missed. <laughs> Just take them for now. Pass them over, they look dirty. They're hookahs. But then look at the bottoms. Oh my goodness. Look at that, there's like no wear in them. Nice. They just need to be cleaned up a little bit. These are keen, but they're heavy. Nice. But they're keen, and look at the inside of those. Wow, yeah. And you have found the other one of those? Yeah, I this think. This is a Nebraska shirt. Those other things, I don't think I want these. Okay, yeah, they're They're pretty worn on the bottom. I'm done looking, period. <laughs> I think so. Okay, let's see. We're gonna go through this to see what we want to keep. Um, two clothes items. Here's shoes. We'll keep those. 
and Crocs. So, Pokas. They look really good on the bottom. Like, really good on the bottom. And Google Bugs. Okay, we didn't find the Saucony. And we don't need this toy. And um, we're putting this back, yes. right? The Den coffee thing, I was, unless you want it, I was just. It's a fun. koozie. Okay. You can, I mean, it won't cost anything. Yeah. Really. Don't want and these guys. I just grabbed them. Ties, and I you yeah. Would. And then you're going to do this. Those. It's hurting me to throw yarn back. Okay, I have three books. Three. Yep. Right. Okay, I'm gonna walk across. Don't look to see how much I weigh. Okay. Your total is 25, 37. 25, 37. All right, thank you much. All right, that's the bins. That's the bins. Um, I think I, our find of the day, what do you think our find of the day was? Um, it was the head covers. I think it was probably the Hoka's. Oh, the Hoka's. I, I, the, all day, every day, people do this, they line up and they all get in a line and as soon as they say go, they you. all rush. Yeah. And, and it's just funny. I'm not going to rush and I'm not going to push my way in or out of somewhere. We do have you on film walking very quickly, though. Well, I might have been walking quickly, but I was just <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. But it, like several people went right by those shoes and they just looked dirty from the top. But I looked at them. They they're like, good. they're like hardly worn at yeah. all. So what is, hopefully they you, clean up nice. Did you price them? Did you like I, them? I did not. I did not yet. But. Uh, I think we're going to wrap that up. Uh, that is the Omaha Goodwill bins. That's the closest bins to us. So Yeah, and that's our um, tr thrifting trip. Yes. Because now we're going to go eat some dinner. Yeah, my mom is actually in town, so we're going to go have dinner with her. So thank you, everybody, for watching. We appreciate it, and we will see you on the next one. I keep doing that. What? Thank you, everybody, for watching. <laughs> We appreciate every one of you. Yes, like and subscribe and share with your friends. The channel is growing like crazy, like crazy to us. Yes. So we're getting like two or three an hour sometimes. <laughs> so maybe 10 a day. <laughs> Look at us go. All right, I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're happy our treasures. See you on the next one. Bye.